yeah, over the last couple of days, I've gone a bit mad on the old uh, ship uh, buying front. Um, I've ended up buying four of them. So my fleet is now at 32. But two of those ships in particular, um, yeah, really stand out. And they're the two that I'll be covering in this video. So um, we are in the uh, Kara's Wang system. Well, it must have been quite impressive to get a star system named after it. Although I feel sorry for the bloke who found out about uh, Kara's Wang in the first place. Anyway, um, this is where one of uh, my new uh, combat specific ships is stored. And uh, that particular ship is... Yep. A mighty Sidewinder of Death. So let's uh, jump in. And we'll go through the uh, uh, loadout of this. So there it is, uh, the Mr. Creosote. So uh, hard points, I have one beam laser, one fragment cannon. Beam laser, no surprise, has uh, grade 5 efficient weapon with thermal vent. Um, yeah, I mean, power is at a bit of a premium on this thing, so I didn't want to go mad as far as uh, out, uh, well, as far as outfitting, yes, but more as far as modding uh, weapons. I thought I was pushing it a bit like, uh, you know, putting a beam laser on, but it seems okay. I mean, I say that, this is the first time I've actually tested this ship out. I thought, well, let's record it and see how good or oh, shit uh, it does. So, yeah, so, uh, beam laser. Now, the fragment cannon, obviously this means I've got to be fairly close to uh, the enemy ship. But, uh, normally with fragment cannons, I um, mod them with the uh, uh, you know, the the high capacity magazine uh, mod. I figured with this, I probably wouldn't need to because I would be destroyed long before I ran out of ammo. So I fitted the uh, double shot uh, mod and oversized experimental. So the clip size has been doubled from 3 to 6. Burst size, uh, so yeah, basically it fires twice instead of just the one. Um, so yeah, I mean maximum range has gone down a bit, but I mean you, you're not going to be firing a uh, frag cannon from 2,000 meters away anyway, or 1,800 for for that matter. So yeah, I I figured the uh, the negatives weren't really that big a deal. Utility mounts, believe it or not, I managed to fit two shield boosters. Um, this one is modded yeah, grade 5 heavy duty with force block experimental. The second one uh, is grade 5 resistance augmented, again with force block experimental. I mean, shield boosters on a sidewinder, <laughs> it's a very relative term. So the core internals, no surprises with any of these. I didn't bother fitting armour to it because, you know, armour on a sidewinder, again, very relative. Everything else has been modded. It's all the usual mods that I, I fit. Uh, with the exception of the sensors, I usually fit lightweight on this. In this case, I fitted long range scanner. I do actually have quite a few ships with long range, but... Uh, they do tend to be the smaller ones. And then finally with the optional internal, so yeah, two-way shield generator, <laughs> best shield generator I could fit. Um, so that has thermal resistant uh, mods with high cap experimental. 
Uh, Guardian Friendship Drive Booster, because why not? 1A Fuel Scoop, it sounds pathetic, it is pathetic, but it it works. I mean, this thing doesn't have a very large fuel tank. I mean, I, I fit you the 1C fuel tank, which has capacity of just two tons, but that has doubled the, uh, you know, the fuel of, of this thing. A whole reinforcement package, uh, again, with this, the only reason I fitted it was, yeah, to improve kinetic resistance. So, grey 5 kinetic resistance, whole reinforcement with reflective uh, plating. And a detailed surface scanner. And the net result of those changes are that... Uh, my shield health is a staggering 132, but the resistances are good. I mean, the worst resistance is kinetic, 42.5%, uh, 49.5 with thermal, 58.4 with explosive. Sounds like it might do all right <laughs> until you see shield health 132. And then uh, with the armor, armor health of 225, kinetic resistance 31.5, that's pretty good. Uh, thermal resistance is not good, minus 10.5. And 7.5 explosive resistance. Mm. Well, I mean it is a sidewinder, you don't expect anything fantastic, which is a good job really. Now, I do know some players who are more than useful in a Sidewinder. I mean, they take out Anacondas. I am not one of them. I haven't flown a Sidewinder in combat for years. So, uh, yeah, this could be interesting. Anyway, let's go. Uh, the Sidewinder, I, I can never resist doing this when it comes to uh, exiting the station. Yeah. When you start and you get that advanced docking computer, I mean, how much help do you need? You're in a Sidewinder which can go sideways through the docking, uh, you know, entry, you know, the access slot. So if you can't fly through that in... Uh, a sidewinder then you know this is probably not the game for you anyway let's see how long I last in this hazardous resource extraction site To say the old view through the uh, sidewinder is not great. It's very, gets very obscure. I mean, obviously it's nowhere near as bad as say the adder, but uh, yeah, it's not brilliant. If my keyboard sounds a bit sort of clicky or whatever word you want to use, <coughs> I got a new one. I recently replaced my uh, Logitech, the G19. I now have a Corsair K95. So it is a mechanical, it has uh, the MX Brown switches, so it could be worse. It could have had MX Blue, but nevertheless, it's not very quiet, so. Here we are. Now, let's see what shows up. Fucking hell. The first ship I see is an anaconda. I mean, he's bound to be wanted. I mean, he may only be a master, so he's not going to be hugely tough, but I don't stand a fucking chance against an anaconda in this thing. Let's look for something a, a little easier. Now, <laughs> I do mean a little. Right, uh, Imperial Clipper. Again, he's a master. He's wanted. You may have noticed I don't have shield cell bags on this ship. 
that's because the shields are so small and I would only be able to fit like you know at best a class 2 uh, shield cell bank so it wouldn't have done much good but yeah the, the shields are so small that they recharge at a hell of a rate So I'm hoping, well I'm not, I'm not taking on a fucking uh, wing, that anaconda is fighting a fed dropship. So they're now distracted. Oh fucking hell, I know I'm going to regret this. But uh, yeah, I'll give it a go. And uh, just realised, yeah, he's he's running because his shields are. Well, no, he's not. His shields are low. His holes are low. Now, uh, yeah, it is not me that is responsible for that amount of damage. But let's see if I can at least finish him off. Okay, now, barely registering on him. Didn't do a fucking thing. Alright, well, let's have a look at this uh, wanted uh, clipper. Now I'm hoping yeah, that fed dropship looks like. Uh, yeah, he's wanted. He's also elite. Again, I, I wouldn't stand a fucking chance. I need them to. If I'm taking on large ships like these two. I mean, they're flying around like they're in a wing, but they're not. But yeah, if I was to take either of those two, I would have to have them being distracted by another ship. It has been ages since I last came to a uh, hazardous resource extraction site, and it was this full of decent ships right from the off. And yet, here we are. Yeah, I'm definitely not taking on a wing consisting of a quite and a fed dropship. And there's a fair de lance here as well. There are loads of decent ships around. And <laughs> I'm in a piss out little sidewinder that wouldn't stand a fucking chance. I've got to go after shit like, yeah, <laughs> Diamondback Explorers. Let's see if this one's wanted. No, he ain't. Okay, what about these Diamondback Scouts? We had an anaconda, there's a clipper, there's fed dropships, there's a fair de lance, and I'm looking at taking on Diamondback Scouts. Oh, here we go. And I'm attacking him with, yeah, and I had nothing in my, uh, Shields. Oh, I've got his shields now. I can't even tell if I'm hitting these uh, frag cannons. Cannons are quite popular among the piss and the ships. So I've only got him down to 88. Shields and I'll put you low because 
time and not, yeah, not keep going straight towards him while he's firing at me. Can't really miss. Don't seem to be working properly. Uh, my beam laser's not working properly. Uh, I think it may be time to bugger off if I can. back when we are about to uh, head back into that conflict, uh, conflict zone, uh, resource extraction site and see how we do with uh, attempt number two. I've got to at least take out one ship. <laughs> Come on. Okay, here we go for uh, the next attempt. See if I can actually take out a ship this time. Four fed drop ships, two fed assault ships. Uh, the only thing I might be able to take on is an eagle. Because it's so fucking fast, it seems. He looks like he's in a wing. He's clean anyway. Well, Py uh, Python. The uh, Type 9 is not going to be wanted, but I always want to have a look just in case. Another Imperial Clipper. <coughs> Bearing in mind I got the shit kicked out of me by a. Uh, Diamondback Scout. I don't think I really want to be taking on a Clipper, especially as he's in a wing. And his wingman is a fed gunship. Yeah, okay. I mean, I've probably chosen a bit of a shitty place to come. I would be better off, at least to begin with, going to uh, a high. Uh, threat um, resource extraction site rather than a hazardous 
because uh, with a high at least I will have a chance of um, you know having either security or whatever ships coming along and helping me out. Here I am entirely on my own unless something comes along and two like you know pirate gangsters start to have you know a bit of a go at each other or they are distracted by yeah, another ship like what is happening here uh, what have we got anything that I can actually take on realistically oh fuck it out no that was a wing of three and it looked like they're all about this explorer. Come on, he's on his own. I mean, Asp Explorers are not good combat ships. Yeah, I'll try it then. I mean, he's combatant, so. It's not like he is the, the best rating uh, of anyone. The shields are coming down. Shields are down. Right. Let's see what we can do then. It's the old frag cannon is only a class one, which does help. hitting but I don't think they're really doing a lot. Well I don't know actually that last lot didn't look too bad. I got him down to 63. I mean if I was in almost any other ship I would not be that impressed here. You know taking on an ass scout shouldn't be that difficult. He can see when he's outmatched or by a sidewinder. Hurry up and reload. Reload times are not great on these uh, high cannons. Oh, the shields are very low, so is his hull. Just two now. And there we go. So competent Aspect Explorer down. I mean, it's. Well, let's face it, in this ship, I'll be glad if I can take out anything. Anyway, I've got some materials to grab, so uh, we'll do a jump cut and uh, we'll be back in a few. Looks like there's a bit of a battle going on between uh, the wanted Python and a wanted uh, fed gunship. It also looks like the um, Imperial Clipper is getting involved. Now, with all of that uh, distracting everyone, I mean, taking out a Python in this thing would be fucking unreal for me even if I am going to get or have all this help but nevertheless I, I think I've got to give it a try well let these shields come down 
and fucking hell, he usually shows up like so. He's not doing much in the way of fighting back. Uh, who is this here? That's the uh, that's the Fed gunship. Uh, I wouldn't stand a chance uh, going up against that, even if he is currently uh, occupied. I've just got to hope that none of these lot give up, because if I am going to join in, uh, he's just he started using his shield cell bags again. Well, he's still taking almighty pounding, but his shields are definitely going up in strength. Getting to the point where I'll join in. Surely I did not <laughs> do much to get him down to 49, 46. Uh, it's got to be all the other ships in the area. I'm not doing much here. I don't know, I mean all my uh, red cannons piling on a bit of damage here. It looks like they are. Target I don't think my solitary uh, B laser is going to do an awful lot, but. And he's down. So, okay, I had an awful lot of help. But, <laughs> we've taken out a, uh, uh, a python. I didn't see where he raised was. Well, actually, I did, but I can't remember it. Was he deadly? It looked like it. I think he was. Anyway, taking out a python in a, uh, sidewinder, which is technically what I did. <laughs> I had an awful lot of help, though, but uh, nevertheless, that seems all right. Okay, uh, so more materials to uh, grab. Um, back once I've done this, and we found something else uh, uh, worth uh, taking on. All right. Well, there's a bit of a fight going on over here. This Diamondback Explorer has taken a bit of pounding. He's now going after this vulture. That's not who he was attacking initially. He was initially attacking a, uh, yeah, that Asp Explorer who is most definitely on his last legs. He's also running like hell. Um, I don't think I'm going to get to him quickly enough. But if I'm, you know, in, in a ship like this, I'm going to have to do well, pretty much what I have been doing, which is scavenging uh, kills from, uh, you know, existing space battles and trying to, uh, yeah, farm credits that way because I'm, I mean, I'm, well, I've already shown that I'm hopeless of taking on a uh, Diamondback or Diamondback Scout. And if I'm no good at a Scout, I'm certainly not going to be any good against an Explorer. I've taken out an Asp Explorer. To be honest, I don't know how I did it. <laughs> um, and I've taken out a Deadly Python. But I had an awful lot of help. So I've made 207,000 so far. Which, if, if I was in just about any other ship, 
that would be fuck all. But uh, in this, I'll take it. I wonder why it's taken me ages to get anywhere. And again, loads of ships that I just wouldn't have a fucking prayer against. A dangerous fed gunship. Now, if I was, as I already said plenty of times already, if I was in any other ship, yeah, I'd give that a go. But in this thing, no. So that fed assault ship firing on him. He's, he's elite. No way would I go after an elite fed assault ship in this. Uh, right, Robin Mars. He's in a uh, Viper. See his white eye and he's in a wing. Yeah, wing of three. Fuck that. Anything else comes along that um, is doable, so uh, another jump cut. Right, well, that wanted uh, fed assault ship is now having a bit of trouble from a wing of three. Those three ships don't look like there are any there that are particularly powerful, but as always, they're swamping in by with you know just the sheer numbers rather than the actual power of each ship. This looks like a good um, poaching uh, potential. So I think I'll stick around and scavenge what I can get, wait for them to get a bit lower, and. Uh, See what uh, we can do. aimed at me. <laughs> Fuck it up. So he's now decided right he's gonna pick off one of his attackers and he's chosen me. <coughs> this is not going to be uh, as easy as I'd hoped. Hopefully the other ships joining in can uh, distract him a bit more. There we go. Or at the very least, finish him off before I... Well, I'm, I'm not going to be out to finish him off. Oh, bollocks. Fucking reloading. Uh, bounty. I can't 
can't imagine those ships around here being too thrilled with me about that. Oh, another, uh, and he's wanted, yeah, okay. Take this one out, I'll scratch. See what we can do with this camera. Yeah, that isn't a good idea. Flying straight towards him. Thinking back in my chair isn't really going to help much. Right, so shields are down. Oh, again. Note to self, don't use the frag cannon unless I'm certain I'm going to hit the gun. Oh, okay, someone else has come along to help out. Obviously take the pity on me. Yeah, so he's now down at 13.8, but that's not my doing. I did a fair bit of damage to him, but not that much. I don't know who it was that helped out. Unless that's another 49,000. <sighs> Alright, I'll tell you what, although <laughs> I'm like scraping through each of these battles, this is probably the most enjoyable uh, resource extraction site I've been to yet. Maybe that's the secret. If you're getting bored with the game, forget all your big powerful ships. Grab yourself a sidewinder and see what you can do with it. Um, okay, what the fuck it, what am I doing? Oh, there's loads of materials back there. I've got so much into the habit of not bothering with materials because I've never needed them. And so now, now that I do need them, I don't bother going to pick them up. So, um, yeah, right, well, I'll be back and then uh, after this jump cut, uh, when I finish picking up what few materials I can still get, because they're all about to expire. <laughs> so, another fight going on. Uh, let's see what's between. Okay, so this Diamond Bank Explorer. Now that usually means they're not going to give up. Is that I just... Uh, yeah, down back. He's only got 25% of the hole left. Could be worth poaching, but it doesn't look like anyone's bothering with him now. Looks like the uh, fight has moved on to these two. Culture and yeah, this time back. Target shields offline. And there's also, yeah, this Imperial Eagle is hanging around. He's in a bad way. Let's get a hit on him. See if we can poach this one. Yep. He was taking on never going to win that one. Well, I'm, normally I would jump cut here, but I don't think there's going to be a lot of materials to uh, pick up from uh, an Imperial Eagle, so... It's rather heat resistance uh, ceramics I want, though. 
only need nine to be four on those again, so yeah, I'm not going to pass them up. Right, now let's see what was happening around here again, because there was another battle. These two still firing back in the vault truck. I mean, they're not giving up. But yeah, you can see they're both just using the usual jousting. They really do need to uh, bring back the uh, supposed improved AI that came along just after, I think it was in 3.1 or 3.2. They need to bring that back because, yeah, this endless jousting is getting really annoying. And I'm saying that as someone who's just watching it. Alright, that Diamondback Explorer has now lost his shields. He's down to 41, and it looks like I'm not the only one who's had the idea of poaching it. Here we go. Gee, now I wonder if I could actually aim. Alright, uh, he's taking me on now. But he's down anyway. So another kill poached. That does look like that's what I need to do. Okay, right, more materials which I want. My materials really did take a pounding when I uh, put these four ships together. So yeah, I want to grab as much as I can. Um, but so uh, I think. At the moment, anyway, that will do for uh, the uh, sidewinder. So, um, yeah, it is, however, not the end of this video because uh, I've done a second uh, combat uh, outfitted ship, which uh, I think also needs a test. So I shall get that underway in uh, part two of the video, which is coming up right there.